Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com. At Google I.O., Google made the extremely bold claim uh, that Froyo, Android 2.2, has the fastest web browser of any other smartphone platform. That is a very, very bold claim, and we have a Google Nexus One here with Froyo on it. Naturally, we want to test if this is true, so let's do the test. Okay, so before we get on with the comparison, I just want to talk a little bit about the browser and show you some of the Flash capability. Now, I should mention, if you want the Flash capability, you have to go to the Android market and download Flash Player 10.1 Beta as a separate component. And this is good that it's separate, because now Adobe can push updates to Android 2.2 devices without having to go... Um, through Google uh, and, and be included in an Android update. Um, so it's a free download, it's about five megabytes, and you need that installed to get that uh, Flash content in the browser. So let's jump into the browser and go to a few websites, then we'll go into the comparison. So now with 2.2, we have a quick link to the browser down here. And here we are, and let's go to pocketnow.com just to start. And you can see how fast it, it loads. We're over a Wi-Fi network right now. So it's fast, it's not ultra super mega fast, but compared to other browsers it may be pretty good. Let's see, screen rotation speed, about the same as 2.1, sometimes it gets a little bit stuck. But let's go to some websites that have a lot of rich flash content. Let's go to uh, miniclips.com, it's actually a site that has a lot of flash games. So here we are at miniclips and we get a variety of games. Let's go to this one, press play, and here we go, flash content. And what we're going to be able to do is interact with the Flash content. When you tap and hold, it goes full screen. And so I'm going to wait till that goes away. Defend the base. Okay. So cool. Pretty cool. Very smooth Flash game um, here in Froyo. So let's go back. Play another game real quick. Just click on anything. And we'll go to Flash video after this. So again, tap and hold to interact with the element. It makes it full screen. New game. So this really changes the way you can use your device because you can experience all these Flash uh, websites like you couldn't before with Flash Lite. And so I have no idea how this works. Okay, so we're bowling. And, uh, well, that's enough for now. So you get the point. Okay, so let's go to YouTube.com. We'll go to the desktop version. Um, of course, there's a YouTube player on here that allows you to watch videos in the higher quality setting now. Here we are in the desktop version. So we'll be able to click on, uh, let's just click on the Super uh, the, the Super Mario Galaxy. Well, actually, that took us to a website. Let's go back and click onto one of these videos. Uh, we'll just choose this one here. And we're going to use the browser, not the YouTube player, just so I can show you the embedded YouTube video, what that is going to look like. So we can see the little spinny thing to start. And if we tap and hold, we can interact with the element. And there you go. Video. So it works pretty well. It's not super duper smooth, but it's it's quite good. It's it's much better than we've ever seen before on a uh, on a on a mobile device. Okay, let's try the comparison. We've got the iPhone 3GS here and the HTC HD2. We're going to use Opera Mobile 10 for the HD2. Probably makes the most sense to use this browser and not something like Skyfire that uses server side rendering. So let's open up all of the browsers here. Whoops, and we'll go to pocketnow.com first. That may be difficult to get them all to go at the exact same time, but we will try. All right, let's do it. So, let's go. They're off. Looks like the iPhone's ahead. The iPhone finished. Here comes the, uh, the Nexus One. HD2 is pretty far behind. Nexus One finished, followed by the HD2 right after it. And what the uh, the Nexus One actually did is loaded the Flash content here. So you can see the animations and the advertisements. And the problem with that, and, and this is probably why they call it Flash 10.1 Beta, is because if you start scrolling down the page with these Flash elements, it's just really choppy compared to the HD2 super smooth and the iPhone super smooth. So let's zoom in on a particular area of the page, and we're going to... Um, try to uh, click on a permalink and see which one loads the fastest. This permalink will actually open up into uh, 
a page with a, an embedded video. And we'll see how all of these different operating systems handle, handle the embedded video. It's probably impossible to get these all at the same time, so I'm just going to go one, two, three. One, two, three. So the iPhone should get done first since I tapped on it. Here they go. Okay, so the iPhone finished first, followed by the HD2. And what's happening here is that the, uh, the Nexus One's trying to load the Flash video that we can actually play within the page, uh, sort of like you would see on a desktop browser. So if we go down a little bit, you should see the Flash element show up. Let me zoom in. That you saw it pop up. Again, it's a little bit buggy still, this flash, but here, here we go. Sometimes if you get the wrong zoom level, it won't work. But of course, uh, over here on the iPhone, this is the, the new beta software for version 4.0. You get the embedded right there, and it will open up the YouTube player. Whereas here, on the Nexus One, it'll play right within the browser. So let's take a look. So there it goes, playing the flash video right within the browser. You want to stop that. Okay, let's go to another website. Let's re real quick see how uh, the HD2 did. It didn't load anything. It just has a big blank spot. And as that video continues to play, we're going to load up Engadget here on all of these devices just to take a look at how fast they load. All right, and they're off. And we got the mobile version on this and probably all of them except for the uh, for the iPhone there. So we're going to scroll down to the bottom on the Nexus One and on the uh, HD2 and click the full version here. We'll see which one loads faster between these two. Let's go. Okay, and it looks like the, the Nexus One's going to finish first, perhaps. Probably trying to load some Flash elements, which definitely slows it down. In fact, I may actually uninstall Flash 10.1 beta because it's just, it's not ready yet and it really slows down scrolling and the speed at which pages load. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we're here and I can tell that there is Flash on this page because this, the scrolling is just not like it is on these other devices here. So let's get down to a permalink and we will try to get them to load at the same time. Pinch to zoom over here. Pinch to zoom over here, super fast, and we'll zoom in over there. All right, let's try to do this at the same time, see which one loads fastest. Okay, and something very interesting here. I just got a notification I've never gotten before on Android. Let's look at it. It says, phone storage space is getting low. I'm assuming this is because I am running, well, a lot of applications that I've been multitasking with today, but also because this Flash 10.1 is taking up a lot of system resources. So if I tap on that, it'll allow me to manage applications. Um, and so what I'm actually going to do is, is reboot all of these phones, and we're going to come back and do another test. All right, and let's try this again. So we're going to go into the browser, the browser, and, of course, the browser. Okay, and this time we're going to go to Amazon.com which will not have Flash content, so we should be able to really see how they compare uh, without you know, this beta version of Flash slowing things down. Okay, and so we're just gonna do one, two, three. One, two, and three. Let's see what happens. So we're gonna get the mobile view, we'll change over to the desktop view. We already got the desktop view over there. And so we're going to go down to view the full Amazon.com full site. There they go. Okay, the Nexus One finished before the iPhone. That's, that's more like it. I think that's more of the uh, representative of the, the experience you'll have when you're not looking at Flash content. So we can scroll around uh, quite smoothly on all three. You can tap in, zoom in there, zoom in there and zoom in up here. We'll tap on the Kindle page. So, and they're off. Okay, it looks like the Nexus One finished first, followed by the HD2 and the iPhone is uh, going a little bit slower. Let's tap on these elements, see how they work.
Well, look what's happening here. We've got some flash content loading nicely. Presenting Amazon Kindle. Wireless reading device from Amazon. The Kindle is but over here, sorry, you can't do that. Let's see, if we tap and hold, we should be able to uh, get some more control over the video. So is the browser on the Nexus One with Froyo Android 2.5 really the world's fastest browser? Well, yes and no. It seems to be faster, uh, significantly faster, when you are not looking at Flash content. But when you are on a website where there is Flash, the story entirely changes. Uh, Flash 10.1 beta is just not... It's just not there yet, and as I mentioned, I think I'm probably going to uninstall uh, Flash 10.1 beta and forget having Flash on a mobile phone here for a while until they figure it out. And let's just really quick, let's go to the uh, Gizmodo page, just see how, how fast that, that loads, and we'll go into landscape, so you can get another sense for how, how this looks on Froyo. And yet another example of a page with some Flash elements. Scrolling is a little bit slow. And if you want to get Android 2.2 Froyo on your Nexus One, I'll put a link up in the sidebar that tells you how to do that step by step by step by step. That's it for now.